Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria 1.4 video. Today, we are testing out with all the new mounts and all the previous mounts, which one is the fastest in the game. We got some contenders here today. We got some contenders. A lot of these are master mode contenders and uh, we're gonna be seeing which one's the fastest. I'm, I'm trying to remember which one was the fastest in the OG video. I know I kind of did the OG video a little bit unfairly in terms of certain water mounts, but this time we're gonna try and give all the benefits to all the mounts, or at least I'm gonna try until i forget you know it's not gamers video if i don't get something wrong and forget something but let's get to it starting with the pre hard mode mobs here i love when i click things into my inventory and they go backwards like this instead of going down to the bottom i don't know why the game does that it's always been an interesting thing but yeah i got a little runway here and i would put portals on the end of the runway well i still might just to reset myself but it doesn't really work with mounts because mounts are taller so they don't just slip through a portal unless the mount is smaller i believe the witch broom is one of the mounts that could actually slip through i don't know whatever let's do it we got our miles per hour movement speed counter whatever you want to say in the top right first mount baby the king slime mount what the hell is it actually called i i say king slime mount slimy saddle let's see it in action 20 miles per hour is that what it caps at 20 miles per hour now we are only doing horizontal speed uh, i'm not going to be doing any like diagonal and vertical speed maybe a separate video like what terry amount can ascend the fastest or fly the fastest i don't know because as you can see we get completely different numbers when we're jumping up and down but but we're just testing horizontal speed here and like i said if it's a water mount we'll give it its water buff if it gets a buff from anything else we'll give it its little buff so there you go slimy saddle 20 miles per hour next up the b mount now same thing with the uh, b mount we're gonna give it its benefit of actually being in the air so we'll do that but uh, let, let's just see how fast does it go like this 10 miles per hour okay so let's go ahead let's ascend a little bit here just a little bit and then let's start flying let's see 31 miles per hour interesting how uh, there's always like very sus numbers in terraria like why why 31 and not just like 30 i, I don't know i don't get it but yeah again we'll test ascending later because look at that, that thing almost reached 50 miles per hour ascending next up the hardy saddle so this thing obviously very very slow on land 90 miles per hour uh but let's go ahead let's hop in water we got our first water mount here this may be a little bit hard to do when it's in water like this still nine miles per hour but if we can uh, like get in the water oh my god is he actually going 32 miles per hour or am i doing it really weird is this mount has always been trouble to test consistently just because you have to be swimming it's a mob that can swim or a mount that can swim so looks like it goes 32 but maybe i should go to the ocean just to test it a little bit i forgot to give myself more room in this water pool all right here we are at the ocean a lot more room to swim around in i don't know it's a small world ocean but let's get to it here let's see let's see okay so we got a good what like 30 something see i don't know if i'm trying to stay consistently straight and it looks like 35 might be the magic number but if i ascend a little too fast you see we can hit 40 so i think 35 is good that's the number i'm seeing a lot when i'm just going straight like this 35 31 i don't know something like that this one this one is kind of hard to test next up we got the fuzzy carrot the bunny mount this one is actually not too bad of a mount to get early game and i believe it only takes five fishing quests to be complete so let's see let's see the speed okay nice 39 again very interesting number uh, i like how all the mounts have different speeds but not all the minecarts uh, who knows speed one minecarts we obviously won't be testing them in this video because i just did a video about them next up the pogo stick now this is one of the cooler mounts they added in and let's see it in action okay let's see it in action are we i'm gonna just hold the right i guess so a nice 29 here, like barely hitting 29. But ones if I press space. Do we go crazy if I press space? Oh yeah, this shit kind of crazy. It goes to 42. This is this is crazy. Okay, well, can't, isn't there like flips and stuff I can do? Oh, we doing tricks on them. So it looks like 42 if I'm if I'm pressing space, and it looks like 29 if I'm just holding left and right. But very very nice. Obviously this thing has good ascend and descending speed. Next up another new mount here. I love this mount too. The golf cart. Now this. Thing Thing i feel like is gonna speed there's no way this thing doesn't speed look at this 40 miles per hour it better speed this shit has an engine but look at that 40 miles per hour nice this thing can also jump really high to reach around 50 damn 50 when jumping that's pretty crazy next up my personal favorite for pre-hard mode now because it walks on water and swims does it walk on water actually i don't know if it walks on water but i know it swims for sure but yeah the mollusk whistle whisk what the fuck did I just say? the mollusk whistle with the flamingo and look at that a nice 38 that's what 
a mile underneath the the fuzzy carrot did the fuzzy car carrot hit 39 i don't know i don't remember weird numbers next up the next three mounts here they all pretty much have the same miles per hour but they all just are different looks much like the mine carts but we got the horses 40 miles per hour here for the uh dusty rawhide saddle one or painted horse whatever and then we got the royal horse here obviously also gonna reach 40 miles and we got the black studded horse also 40 miles per hour so there you go the horses are cool i'm glad horses are finally in terraria something i feel like should have been in it since like day one okay maybe not day one 1 1.1 when did they add mounts i don't know 1.3 2 some next up we got the shark look how slow he is on land but he isn't a land animal he's a water creature let's see him in the water look i'm still touching the floor in the water and i'm going goddamn 73 oh my god no one's if i don't touch the floor I, i'm pretty sure it's still gonna be 73 but still this thing is fast and also you can swim in lava with it you'll be immune to lava how come it was 72 that time it's kind of weird how come wasn't it 73 a second ago oh now it's 73 yeah there you go there's the lava what the hell is it called superheated blood lava shark mount probably one of the coolest looking new mounts uh in pre-hard mode in 1.4 but yeah let's put all these away and it's time to test out the hard mode mounts now and the master mode ones too now you may be watching this and you're like game readers where's the summoner episodes i quit no i'm kidding they just take a while to make but let's get back to it hopping on our first mount here i'm pretty sure i have these in order of the wiki like how the wiki lists them and the ancient horn is first so let's get to it ancient horn used to be one of my favorite mounts just because it looked cool and also it was the first mount i believe to do summoner damage when you ram into something which i always thought is cool but i think all mounts now do summoner damage which is very interesting but this thing goes a nice 40 miles per hour looks like a damn meteor is about to hit you next up the blessed apple we all know about the unicorn come on this thing is amazing i was talking about horses and people were probably like game readers horses should be in should have been in terraria a long time ago terraria unicorn you know you know how those messages are where it's like this it's a unicorn it's a mythical creature it doesn't count as a horse all right let's get to it so a nice 40 and then it accelerates into a nice 60 one of the best land mounts in the game and uh, you know the unicorn has my respect it's a very nice mount used to be very rare i feel like it's a lot more common to get your hands on now but i don't know maybe that's just recent rng because that's how rng works sometimes you get the blade staff in one kill other times you get it in like 40 kills spending hours waiting for 40 to spawn next up scaly truffle this thing okay this is a very interesting mount here we got a nice little speed of, oh my god this thing's kind of going fast what the heck 45 miles per hour that's like that's like the unicorn before the speed boost but let's see it in air we want to see it in the air right oh is this not an air no it is we we hit it like a nice like 40 there before we started accelerating upwards i thought this thing had a nice like floating speed or a floating area you can do where you just like you know you fly and then it floats but no this thing i gotta keep pressing space which i hate doing mounts like this because i feel like it's a big inconsistency so we'll say like 35 to 45 next up a new mount to 1.4 from a new boss in 1.4 and that is the winged slime mount boing flat boing perfect description in my opinion but let's see it on the floor nice 33 13 miles i believe 13 miles faster than the slime mount the regular one and uh obviously this thing flies so it, it goes super fast doesn't float oh god here we go again all right let's see here it's so hard i'm telling you it's super inconsistent 60 maybe i don't know this thing goes really fast if i send for a second it messes up the miles per hour i saw a 63 in there next up the reindeer do people really use the reindeer i feel like the reindeer isn't too bad it's just a little bit hard to get your hands on but we got a nice almost 60 damn isn't this thing the same speed as the unicorn but it flies yeah i'm pretty sure i read that at some point same speed as the unicorn uh the unicorn actually hit 61 at one point but it flies look at that look at the flying i don't know if we can count the flying speed like i said but uh, it hit a nice like 70 in full stride there next up brain scrambling so actually you know give a little summoner sneak peek and why it's taking so long i'm stuck on the martian madness event uh for obvious reasons they buffed the the martian saucer for its laser to shoot through walls and uh, i gotta figure out a new strat for that and i pretty much got this when i did the first martian ev evasion i got this thing like immediately the brain scrambler or the scutlix whatever the hell let's see it in action here this thing shoots lasers very very nice when the amount does damage it goes a nice 40 miles per hour okay nice and simple next up the cosmic car key of course this is an all-time favorite mount right here for a lot of people a lot of builders i think most builders nowadays are probably gonna use the black spot if they're using a master mode character but if not this is still the go-to can you, you can use master mode mounts outside of master mode so never mind but yeah, here we go 41 miles per hour a nice calm speed it's probably one of the best controllable mounts 
like it's really easy to control this mount it's like a little delay switching directions but like it's still really really nice to control this mount next up the witch's broom this is a new favorite for people you know i hear people as of recently they straight up just don't use wings and they just use mounts i don't know if me personally can get used to that i might have to get used to that for say i don't know certain bosses or things i want to accomplish but uh we got this here it's got a nice speed of 41 miles per hour and like i said earlier i believe it's the only mount to fit in three high things so the portal is three high so let's test it out all right here we go okay spoke too soon apparently i was told that you could fit in three high things okay what about this oh see look if it's yeah, maybe just mounts don't go through portals which is kind of upsetting all right next up shrimpy truffle we know how this thing is on the floor in that original mount video i did in 1.3 you know a lot of people were mad that i measured the speed like this it's because i was going to do a whole separate video where i tested the mount speed in water or water mounts whatever you could check out that video now that video came like almost a year later after the original video but let's do it when's if i'm touching the floor you go a little bit faster a little 9 10 but obviously get off the floor and look at this thing zoom 81 82 i was close i was that was just a guess i was throwing out this thing is super super fast you can use it outside of water too uh you just need to put set up those little like bubbles with like a source of water in it boom go through it and you'll be zooming around but yeah while in the air not rubbing on the floor like this it goes a nice what 40 40 is still pretty good for it not being buffed so this mount probably one of the best before 1.4 came out still might be the best i don't know <laughs> 82 that's pretty good next up the drill containment unit who doesn't love this thing this honestly is just like my favorite utility mount there's not a lot of utility mounts but this one is one of my favorite there's only like what one other utility mount <laughs> the mole mine cart is that considered a utility i guess but there you go this thing only goes 31 miles per hour but it's true power is when you're breaking things like this and let us get to our final set of mounts here master mode mounts i love that master mode does have mounts and some exclusive stuff but i still dislike that master mode is just like a health upgrade to most bosses damage upgrade it's just a bunch of multipliers with no actual content behind it but let's get to it here the dark mage's tome so this is like a magic carpet but as a mount which the magic carpet should be a mount already by itself but let's see it in action here touching the floor damn 41 miles per hour not bad now it does fly like i said it's just like a magic carpet as you can see we're hitting a nice 41 while we're up in the air and then we fall down next up the goat skull this is a great mount to get right when you enter hard mode especially if you get a nice flat world or terraform your world to be flat and uh, let's see it in action let's see it in action here a nice 60 holy does this go unicorn speed is this just a unicorn in disguise now that i look at it this might just be a unicorn mount in disguise because you got the speed boot that's kind of now that i look at that that's kind of scummy i don't know relogic i thought this mount was really cool i thought it was slower than the unicorn maybe it's like a mile per hour slower like one but this is legit just a unicorn reskin i see it now relogic you thought you were slick huh all right next up the black spot my actual and many other people's personal favorite in this update this thing is amazing infinite flight you could go fast as hell look at this i'm still going up i'm still going up i have to get out of here i don't know if that's enough room a nice 82 miles per hour now i believe this thing actually does go slow if i'm like rubbing on the floor no it doesn't okay and the big thing about the uh black spot here is if you have a dash you can boom dash and your acceleration goes up immediately which is very very useful for dodging bosses and stuff you know say skeletron prime is about to smack you with something boom i'm out of there see you later because you could get this thing before skeletron prime you could get this thing right when you enter hard mode so it's a pretty overpowered mount maybe to balance it even though i probably bet they won't balance it they should lock it behind one mech boss kill and then the flying dutchman drops it but i don't know what, what do i know i'm not a game developer next up the hex branch now this thing i just got my hands on it recently and it is amazing it's really cool looking and it's fast as hell look at this 81 miles per hour this thing is zooming i love it last but not least here as nighttime comes the toy tank now a lot of people were telling me game raiders you say you want to tank but there is a tank yeah of course i know about this but we're talking about minecarts this is this is always the problem with the videos <laughs> i talk about something and some people bring up something else it's like i said i want a minecart tank and people are like game raiders the tank exists it's like this is a regular mount bro but let's get to it let's see the speed this thing also does shoot which is amazing 40 miles per hour have you ever seen toad in a tank <laughs> i don't know maybe the next mario game will have toad in a tank yeah this thing does actually shoot as we can see right there and uh, it's amazing i love how it looks 
Netflix. And that's really all there is to say. It doesn't do too much else. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video though of checking out all the new mounts and seeing which one is now the king, which one's on top for being the fastest. And I already forgot which one it was. It's some, whatever the hell went 82 miles per hour. It's the black spot, the cute fish run mount. You know, there's a couple that hit 82 miles per hour. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Become a channel member if you want to support the channel directly. Summoner episodes are coming soon. Don't worry. Just like I said, they kind of take a while to create here and i can show you guys the hours on my character look at that 48 hours unless that's 48 hours of me standing there afk this one's for all the people who still think i cheat when i play on the summer character all right see y'all see y'all later bye, 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 bye.